Hi guys! Welcome back to My Goodness. Sa mga bago pa lang sa channel ko, thank you so much for watching. Uh, marami pa akong mga ituturo tungkol sa baking. So, just stay with me and please don't forget to subscribe. Today, we are going to bake uh, isa sa mga trending na binibake ngayon, which is what we call banana loaf. So, I'll show you how I do my banana loaf para pwede nyo na rin itong maging business panghanda o kung gusto nyo lang magkaroon ng masarap na merienda or almusal kasi napakabilis nitong gawin. So, ito na yung ating mga ingredients. So, we are going to use all-purpose flour. We have baking soda here, baking powder, cinnamon powder. This one gives a different taste on our banana bread. Makes a lot of difference. And we have our iodized salt. We are using brown sugar. We'll be using three bananas. So, kung mas malaki pa ng konti dito, okay lang. Two large eggs, vegetable oil, and banana extract. Now, for our toppings, what we're gonna be using is, so we have glazed fruit. This is cherry. Our chocolate chip. So, this is semi-sweet chocolate and this is raisin. So, depending sa inyo kung ano yung mga gusto nyo ilagay. Meron din tayong nuts which is almonds or you can use walnuts. These are the toppings na pwede natin ilagay sa ating banana loaf. And of course, we're gonna be using our loaf pan with some parchment paper. So, we'll start now. So, stay with me guys. Okay, so una natin gagawin on a separate bowl. Imamash muna natin yung ating bananas. So, the darker the bananas, the better. Kasi mas matamis na yun at saka mas masarap i-bake. So, pagka masyadong dilaw na dilaw pa siya, uh, hintayin nyo na mag-black mag -black na yung mga balat niya para siguradong matamis at mabango yung bananas na gagamitin natin. So, mas misan pag nagbabake ako, mas dark pa dito yung bananas na ginagamit ko. Mas dark pa yung balat. Kasi minsan yung mga ayaw na nilang kainin. So, I will turn it into banana cupcakes or banana loaf. Guys, you can turn this also into a banana cake. You'll just have to change yung lagayan niya. And then, mamash lang natin. Yung pagmash natin dito, wag yung sobrang durog na durog. Dapat meron pa rin mga, at least mga bits and pieces. So, this is Okay. Ayan. Pakita ko lang sa inyo. Hindi siya kailangan sobrang gutay-gutay. May mga bits and pieces pang natitira. Okay, so we'll just set this aside and we'll mix the other ingredients. We'll start with the wet ingredients. So we'll be measuring our oil. And we'll put in our sugar. Mix this before adding our eggs. Yeah. Mix lang na ganyan. So we have two large eggs here. So crack it on a separate bowl para makita nyo kung maayos yung egg. Mix mo muna. So, you put one egg at a time and mix, okay? Then, add the second one. Okay, so, okay naman yung egg natin. Dito tayo magme-mix ng mabuti. I-cream natin. So, this is what we call creaming. Hanggang maging thick lang siya. Then, we'll add our banana extract. And then, mix it again. So, importante rin na gumagamit tayo ng brown sugar kasi yung color niya will make our banana bread medyo darker. 
pag naluto. At saka yung brown sugar has a molasses taste na masarap siya sa mga binibake kesa sa white sugar. Okay, so this is thoroughly mixed kasi medyo thick na yung consistency. We'll add our banana. Okay, just mix it. After that, we're going to set our dry ingredients. So we put in our flour. This is all-purpose flour, by the way. Our baking powder. Our baking soda. We'll be putting our cinnamon powder. I love cinnamon. And this will give a different taste on our banana bread. Mmm, bango! So, we'll just add one teaspoon of this. Alright. Wow, smells good. And then our salt. It's just one fourth teaspoon of the salt. So, sift lang natin. Kasi maraming yan, kagaya niyan, bobo. So, para pag naluto yung banana loaf nyo, walang mga buobong ganyan na makikita. So, mix na natin. So, this is very easy to prepare and cook. So, pwede mo tong ma-prepare in 15 minutes. Pwede mo na siyang ma-isa lang agad sa oven. Napakabilis, di ba? But do not over-mix this. So, we'll just mix it until wala na tayong nakikitang flour. Para hindi matigas yung uh, loaf bread natin. Now, tandaan nyo, pag na-over-mix ang isang flour, Lumalabas yung gluten niya, kaya tumitigas. Parang magiging tinapay. So, we're trying to achieve a moist banana cake. At the same time, soft siya. Okay, so guys, I put oil on the loaf pan. At binabrush natin ito all over para hindi dumikit yung ating banana mixture. Magtatanggalin natin later on. But I will also put parchment paper dun sa ilalim lang. Okay. This is how you do it. Kailangan mo siyang lagyan ng oil para dumikit yung parchment paper natin sa ilalim. So, I have one side na nakaangat. Okay, why I do that is kasi para madali ko mapul yung banana loaf. I just cut some of the extra here. Okay. Okay, so I'm done here. We'll put half muna. Then half din dito sa kabila. If gagawin nyo itong business, guys, pwede nyo siyang i-weigh para eksakto yung laman ng bawat loaf pan nyo. O, para hindi naman, di ba, nakakaya na pagkaluto mo, magkaiba sila ng laki. So guys, ito na. It's decoration time. So the other one, we'll be putting some chocolates. 
So, damihan natin yung chocolate niya. So, ito yung pinakamaliliit na size ng chocolate. Semi-sweet. Now, guys, pwede rin yung lagyan yung butter mismo ng chocolate chips. So, depende sa inyo. Ako kasi mas gusto ko yung dinedecor na lang sa ibabaw. And then, we'll put some almonds. The other one, so we'll be putting some glazed fruit. Yung ito rin yung nilalagay ko sa bread ko. So, konti lang naman nilalagay nyo kasi meron pa tayong ilalagay na iba. Pero alam nyo, maganda to kasi pag yung mga pang gift nyo, pang Christmas, because of the color. Christmas color kasi ito. Ito yung nilalagay sa mga fruitcake. So your children can decorate your banana loaf. So ganyan na itsura niya. Ganda, di ba? Parang Christmas. Then, we'll add some raisins. Yung mga may gusto lang. Ayan siya, guys. Alright. We'll add some cherries on top. So, yung cherry, just cut it in half. Ito, nabibili ko to sa mga baking store. Meron din naman sa mga groceries. Yeah. So, this will look like a Christmas giveaways. Yeah, because of the cherry. Kwanti lang naman ang kailangan yung guys. So, you see that? It's beautiful. Preheat the oven at 180 degrees Celsius. Dapat na preheat na natin siya for 15 minutes bago natin isa lang yung ating uh, banana loaf. So, here it is. So beautiful. Okay, I'll get back to you once it's baked. Alright, so guys, ito na yung ating baked banana loaf. I was able to bake this for um, 40 minutes. Okay, so after 30 minutes, every 5 minutes kayong mag-check. Hindi rin misan pare-pareho yung loaf pan na ginagamit natin. So what you will do is, habang nasa oven, tap nyo lang yung ibabaw. Pag tap nyo yung ganyan na at malambot, hindi pa siya luto. So, add pa kayo ng additional 5 minutes. 5 minutes ng 5 minutes. So, check nyo parate. Sunod na check nyo at pag tap nyo sa kanya at hindi na siya malambot, nagba-bounce back na, then pull out nyo na siya sa oven. So, depende kasi yan sa temperature ng oven natin. Depende rin sa dami ng nilalagay nyo sa bawat loaf pan at sa size ng loaf pan na ginagamit nyo. Use a cake tester. So, insert nyo lang yan. Makikita nyo malinis na yung cake tester natin. Pag may mga crumbs pa na kumapit dyan, ibig sabihin hindi pa luto yung ating banana loaf. Then halfway through the baking, around 20 minutes, tinurn around ko yan ng ganyan sa oven para magpantay lang yung pagkakaluto niya. So guys, do not overbake your banana bread kasi magka-crack yan sa gitna. So, papangit na yung design na nilagay natin. So, hindi na siya masyadong uh, magandang tingnan. So, mas maganda pa rin yung um, hindi magka-crack yung middle. So, nagka-crack lang ang middle nito kapag na-overbake mo na. Na-over siya sa pagluto. Hintayin nyo lang na mag-cool down ng konti, mga around 10 minutes na nakaganyan, bago nyo tanggalin sa lagayan. We'll just wait for this to cool down. And then, titikman na natin. Alright, so guys, malamig na yung ating banana loaf. So, habang tumatagal tong banana loaf nyo, guys, magmamoist pa siya lalo. Looks delicious. Ayan. Okay. Mm. Tingnan nyo 
to guys. Yung mga dilaw-dilaw na yan, yan yung banana. Nag-burst lang siya nung pagkaluto. Okay, let's taste this. This is so good. Super moist, super lambot. Hindi kayo magsisisi sa pag pagluto nyo dito kasi napakasarap. Hindi kayo mapapaya sa mga clients nyo. This is super good. Mmm. Super good. Ito talaga yung hindi ka mamamali sa pagluto sa kanya. Napakadaling gawin. At the same time, yung lasa, sarap. So good with coffee and or tea. Mm. Kahit walang mga nasa ibabaw, ang sarap. Ang sarap nito, maubos ko na. There. Ayan yung banana. <laughs> Sarap. Mmm. Iba rin kapag may nuts. Ang gay so. Ang sarap. Ano ba ito? Naubos ko na rin. Actually, medyo dark brown siya. Because of the sugar that we put. Hindi, siya, hindi ko siya nilalagay ng coffee. Para, pag yung mga bata, pwede silang kumain. So guys, gawin nyo na sa mga bahay nyo. And, leave your comments kung ano yung mga feedback nyo. Pwede nyo naman siyang i-personalize kung anong mas gusto nyo ilagay na toppings. Pwede. Alright, so thank you so much guys for watching my videos. Please don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day everyone!